Well, good evening, lovely ladies and gentlemen. Steve Collins coming to you from beautiful San Antonio, Texas, the second most powerful, passionate, and purposeful coach and speaker in the world. I hope you guys are excited for this wonderful evening. I normally do my videos in the morning. Let's go in the evening. I have a question for you. Technology interfering with the quality of your relationships? Could technology be interfering with the quality of your relationships? This is the question that I want to ask you this evening. In the voice of one executive performance coaching program, we coach to the wheel of life. We are made up of several different parts and very rarely do people choose to invest time working on themselves to improve themselves in personal growth and personal development because you're made up of many different facets. You are spiritual, you have a physical life, you have a financial life, you've got a career, you've got a family, maybe marriage, maybe children. You have technology habits that are creeping in and that's what I want to talk with you about this evening. It's one of the areas that we address in our coaching program because quite frankly, many people are completely unaware of the effects of technology until it becomes too late or until you experience something that shows up that you did not expect. For instance, if you are parents of teenagers or younger children who have been exposed to technology for years in their life, you may find yourself in World War III when it comes to confiscating that technology or attempting to modify the usage of technology. It may be affecting your life and you may not know it. Is the phone the first thing you grab when you wake up in the morning? Is it the last thing that you're on late at night? This could actually be affecting your physical body. The latest research and scientific evidence proves that the screen time fakes our bodies out into thinking it's still daylight, affecting our circadian rhythm and our ability to relax and prepare to fall asleep, to have sound sleep. Are you having trouble sleeping? Technology could be interfering with your relationship with your sleep life. When you go out on date nights, are you that couple that's sitting down across from one another, staring at your phones all night long? When you're out with your children, are your children staring at their phones? At the dinner table, are they staring at their phones? You see, it's become so widely accepted that very few people have even begun to question the implications and effects of the quality of our relationships being influenced significantly by the use of technology. So I have a question for you. If you were to be honest with yourself, would you say that the quality of your relationships could be being affected by your use of technology? Well, there's hope for you. How do you do it? One of the spokes on the wheel, technology habit that we coach to, we also have a mini wheel around actions and activities that can be taken to see improvement in those areas. We help you know exactly what to do, and then we schedule exactly when to do it so you can move forward with progress, learning how to begin changing behaviors and implementing new behaviors that we do in our home, in our household, with six children in the house, five teenagers. If we are having dinner with one another, if we are eating with one another, if I see an electronic device, it's gone for a week. Yes, they were freaked out at first, now they totally get it because guess what they have to do? This ancient art of talking to each other and sharing their feelings with one another. It's pretty fascinating stuff if you haven't tried it lately. Number two, when Angela and I are on date night, her phone has a special ring for the kids only. We are not on our phones at date night unless we've had our meal, we've had our dessert, and we go, okay, screen time. While we're waiting for the bill, we'll check in and see if the kids are doing anything or what they're up to, and we can check in with them, but we do not do that. Uh, she and I are very intentional, my wife and I are very intentional about shutting our electronics down at least an hour before we go to bed at night, sometimes more, so that we don't have that screen time affecting our circadian rhythms, faking our bodies out, making us think that it's still daylight, and we sleep very sound at night. These are just a few of the things that you can do to implement changes when it comes to technology. Let me ask you a question, those of you fathers who have daughters. How would you feel if you went to a restaurant and you saw your sweet daughter there sipping her Sprite as her boyfriend was staring at his phone? Ouch, right? Fathers, how would you feel if you went out to dinner and you saw your son sitting at the table with his date while she was sipping her Sprite and he was staring at his phone? Have you taught your children what is respectful and what is disrespectful? Have you taught them the art of disengaging with electronics so they can learn to engage in relationship and the quality of relationship? 
if you haven't had the opportunity to make these changes, let me make a suggestion. Now would be a good time. You know, the chains of bondage are sometimes too late to sense or feel until they are too tight for you to break. It's easier to mend men than to build. It's easier to build boys than to mend men. You've heard this quote before. So you have the opportunity to work on the building process. And remember, an ounce of prevention will always be a pound of cure. Yes, you won't be the popular parent. Yes, you might not be the popular spouse. Yes, you might not be that person that everybody gets goosebumps around when you talk about these changes. And you will have accepted full and total responsibility for being the catalyst and initiator to a greater quality of life for yourself and your family. 20 years can go by and the next thing you know, we've got a generation that is literally glued to the screens if they haven't had the opportunity to look at changes in this area. I hope you guys decide to not let technology affect the quality of your relationships and I hope you decide to make some changes that will help you enjoy a greater quality of life. Have a good evening, guys.